Hi everyone, I'm Ali Grayman. Today I wanted to talk to you about OCD and addiction. Does addiction lead to OCD? Can OCD create addictions or or can uh, correlate with um, addiction? And I can tell you over the last 10 years, plus 10 years plus now um, of talking to clients and I'm talking to clients every day, pretty much all day. I very, very rarely, if I ever take weekends or, well, I don't take weekends, but I'll take a day off every once in a while, but very rarely. Um, so I have a lot, a lot of experience. And I can tell you, I don't see a lot of um, drugs and alcohol addiction. I just don't see a lot of it. Um, what I see more of is uh, what we call other addictions, right? The gambling, um, uh, sexual addictions, um, eating, overeating, under eating, um, uh, plastic surgery addictions, like those kinds of things where it's, it's obsessive thinking that leads to the behavior. And because OCD is also obsessive thinking, I think this is why uh, a person with OCD is more susceptible to it. So I, I do see uh, those things correlating. Um, my opinion on it is if a person who was stuck in addiction was able to overcome that. So they'll come to me and they'll say, I overcame this addiction. Well, this already gives you a step up in tackling OCD because if you can get over an addiction and refuse whatever the addiction was, then you can do the same thing with OCD. You just need to understand how to do it, but you will be able to do it. So it's that same type of process, right? And uh, and I do find that people who have overcome addiction um, or have changed their, even not even as going as far as addiction, but even people who have turned their life around in whatever way, I find that they recover a lot faster. So their drive is more, they do more work, and because of that, they recover faster. So I don't find it to be um, a negative thing. I, but, but like I said, in terms of drugs and alcohol, I've, I see it from time to time, but I don't see it as commonly. So, But same thing goes, that if a person was able to overcome that, they will be much... Uh, they, I, I find they, they have an easier time saying no to OCD thoughts and doing... Um, what OCD going against what OCD wants you to do. So doing what OCD doesn't want you to do, which is disregard, right? That they have easier time doing that. None of it is easy, but it's uh, they understand what it feels like to have this mental pain and still say no. And and I find that that's uh, that's huge in recovery. So I hope this answers uh, some of your questions. If you have any additional questions about this topic, please leave it below in the comments. If you would like to do a one-on-one -on -one recovery program with me, all the information is on youhaveocd.com. You can sign up from there and you can book your session through there as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.